wife of the late founder of Synagogue Church of All Nations, Squan, Pastor Mrs. Evelyn T.B. Joshua, has recounted memorable moments she shared with her husband. Evelyn Joshua, who is now the leader of the church, said she shared wonderful moments with the late prophet, while she also learned many things which she has not forgotten, adding that there were times to reflect on always. I learned from my husband that life is not bed of roses, and I learned patience and absolute trust in God. I learned tolerance, perseverance, understanding, forgiveness, which shaped my life. I experienced love from my family and outside my family. I learned to bless God in everything, she said. Evelyn Joshua disclosed this at the one-year remembrance service of T.B. Joshua themed first-year celebration of Prophet T.B. Joshua, celebrating the life and legacy of Prophet T.B. Joshua, held at the headquarters of the church in the Kotoegbe area of Lagos on June 5, 2022. Evelyn Joshua, who wore a colorful dress in honor of her late husband, said, I'm wearing this colorful dress in honor of T.B. Joshua for all the colorful shirts he had worn on this altar, preaching and doing miracles for God's kingdom. Mrs. Joshua, who said she was speaking as a wife and a widow of Prophet T.B. Joshua, on the lovely moment she shared with her husband, added, The T.B. Joshua that I know, married, and the father of my three daughters, was a man of prayer, and that was what led me to him. It is generally not unusual to seek the face of God. I sought the face of God. I didn't choose my husband. He chose me, but I loved him until death do us part. He was a vegetarian, and when he told me, I told him that I eat all those foods, but for him, I became a vegetarian. The journey of faith continued. The glory of the Lord blossomed, and the squam came into being, she said. There was no squam then, and we were satisfied. But when we started the church, we sat on mats, we sat on wooden chair, and I became the first Sunday school teacher in the church. And here we are today, Mrs. Joshua said. She said that love was tested, and she fought for love and attention, and then appreciated two elderly women whom she said became their counselors. I fought for love and attention, and today I want to appreciate two wonderful mamas who became our counselors. And I had the two elderly women as friends, Mama Victoria Akiola and Mrs. Felicia Olowofeku, who has passed on, she said. Continuing, Evelyn Joshua said, I remembered one Sunday I went to his office and I said, you are not going to attend to anybody today but me. He brought Mrs. Akiola, who guided me with wisdom that kept me from the path of error. I want to say thank you for wisdom and motherly love advice and Mrs. Felicia Olowofeku of blessed memory. When I look back now, I realize that there are more important things than those concerns of mine then. Even Joshua said that as a man of prayer, every morning he had his morning devotion with two songs he never missed. She mentioned one of the songs as, Whatever that can hinder me from the salvation of God should be removed. The passion at which this young man sang that song, I knew I was in for something. But I knew we were in this together until death do us part, she said. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television.